scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1. The Bible says, Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it says let us lay aside every weight your weight can be your looks your weight can be your designer suit your weight can be your ego and the pride and the arrogance that mediocrity has given you let the lord smash it and bring you to a higher standard hallelujah listen this has been our cry in this place. He is the potter and we are the clay. Whenever you come here, you say, Lord, stretch me. Open me up and change me. Don't just come here tonight to say, wow, let's see what happens. Especially if this is your first time. Participate and let your heart be open. The Bible says he is the rewarder of them that diligently diligently that seek him without distractions your will be done hallelujah hallelujah let me tell you something the reason why success is valuable is because not everybody will ever get it. Are you listening to me? Greatness lies in the hands of those who have endured what others cannot endure. While you are praying, some people are in the beer parlor. Let me tell you something. We know about the mercy of God, but I want to tell you God is also just. Hallelujah. It is the justice of God that takes sinners to hell. The Bible says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. That means if you don't reap what you are sowing, God is being mocked. Are you listening to me? God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that man will receive it. He said, He that soweth to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. You can choose today to pay the price and sow seeds that will, the Bible says, and Abraham was all Genesis 24 and stricken in age and God had blessed him in all things. Our parents left curses for us. Many of us are victims of the carelessness of the generations that have gone ahead of us. But you must take responsibility about your life. Otherwise, things will not change. This is why God brought you here tonight. As an indication of your desire to partner with the Holy Spirit in transforming your destiny. And let me tell you something. The kingdom of God operates in a reward system. You will not seek God 
and later run back and seek other things as you seek him they will follow you god will be unjust if you have to seek him first and then run back to catch up in bringing other things uh -uh. as you seek him those things that men follow will come to you so open your eyes will you open your ears then you understand that the lord is here this is what god is asking you to do tonight open your eyes open your ears then you understand that the lord is here hallelujah bless you greet one another tell them lectures continue hallelujah bless you be seated if you don't have a seat stand or sit on the floor hallelujah when it was time for the people to eat bread Jesus said tell them to sit down if you can't sit down you won't eat that bread that bread is not just for people you must sit down hallelujah praise the Lord what wisdom is this tonight I'm going to be sharing with us on a dimension of wisdom that I believe will fire somebody's spirit we've been considering the subject of success let me tell you something it's my desire that the least person among us will be like David hallelujah you know as I look at everyone here I'm just imagining I'm just imagining if God will open your eyes to see how your five years will be like how your 10 years some of you are escaping some things forever satan notwithstanding look it plays to listen to the lord are you hearing me he said "Matter, you are distracted and offended by many things but he said one thing everybody say one thing one thing is needful that you sit down at the master's feet he said this mary has desired and this she has found there is a master key in life when you find it you have found it hallelujah what wisdom is this i want to reveal to us building from last week's message Please, if you've not listened to last week's message, get it. Get it is very important. Hallelujah. Give me this mountain. We've been receiving testimonies. A very thought-provoking message that opens you up to the spiritual dimension of success. That lets you know that nothing just happens in this earth realm. There are those who are called the elites in this earth realm. Those who know. There are those who are the victims of the consequences and the decisions of the elite. Hallelujah. And tonight I trust that the word of God will provoke you. Make sure you write. Please, if you are here without a writing material, beg your neighbor. And he told John, he said, write. Although he was in heaven, he said, write it. For these words are faithful and true. Write it. Hmm. A dimension of success that is bigger than science. Bigger than philosophy. Bigger than common sense. I want to show you a, a not a mystery. But I trust the Lord to equip us tonight. With a higher dimension of the operation of the spirit. See, I want you to be so full of knowledge and truth that your life 
it will be programmed automatically to be successful you can't undo it again even if you want to do it hallelujah in chemistry there are some reactions that are called irreversible reactions once they happen they have happened this is what is happening to your life there is an irreversible spiritual reaction hallelujah you will become something and then when you become it those who are running helter skelter will say but this is what we've always wanted to become and god will say go and join the king bishop talked of a 75 year old man who was in primary four there are some classes in life you don't jump hallelujah god designed it such that when you finish every class a batch is given to you so you can know who cheated you can do expo in the university but not in life at the end of it life will count your level and count the badge and say oh guy you jump this 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 go back many people will go back the bible says is the thief that follows through the window is that in your bible hustling can help you jump through the window is that true but life will bring you back i tell you may it not happen when you have children because they will go back to with you and as you are moving they'll be saying daddy why lamentations 327 it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth it is good that a man bear his yoke the bible says the glory of the young man is his strength now that you are young you can pray now that you are young you can press said i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day for the night cometh when no man can walk again he said in the days of samuel when the word of the lord was cast may you be the light when darkness comes upon men and that light will make kings to come to your rising gentiles and kings to the brightness of your rising like sheba they will come with their goods to reward your sacrifices of today and sheba heard of the wisdom of solomon it was so notable she had to sail by sea and come to test him the entire kings of the earth came together solomon is the biblical portrait of wisdom i pray that this dimension of wisdom will fall upon somebody this night Amen. hallelujah thank you jesus let's write a few things what does it mean to be successful in the kingdom it's important that we understand the biblical concept of success I want to define success by God's standards because there are many standards that have been presented to many people including believers and many of us have received wrong perspectives of what we call success but we trust God for grace to reorder a lot of things say after me I received this dimension of wisdom say one more time i received this dimension of wisdom grant us this wisdom oh god grant us this wisdom i'll give you two definitions the definition of success in the kingdom number one it means to grow in the knowledge of God and in conformity to his nature and principles the first parameter to gauge and define success in the kingdom is not a car not a house not Jeep wrong parameters in Jeremiah 9 23 he says 
that let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength hallelujah he said but let him that glory had glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me the knowledge of god to the degree to which you know god and you have allowed your life to conform to his nature and his principles you are considered to be successful from the perspective of the kingdom so number one growing in the knowledge of god the bible says grow in grace and in the knowledge of god grow in grace and in the knowledge of god paul was speaking to the church he said my little children in whom i travail until christ be formed in you until the nature the character the formation of christ so that you become a visible manifestation just like jesus the bible says in him dwelleth the fullness of the godhead bodily in other words he was the physical expression of whatever you think god is hallelujah number two it means to experience the blessings of god in every area of life it's not enough to know god it means to experience look at me the bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation not the explanation of the sons of god there are many people who can explain success but there are very few people who will ever experience it in this life the world is not waiting for explanations they are waiting for the manifestation hallelujah so success in the kingdom means to experience the blessings of god in how many areas success is not just about money and finance no your health your family your relationships it means to experience the blessing of god everybody say the blessing of god in your career in ministry in whatever area of your life that your life will be an example a portrait there are certain people in scripture that represented the portrait of certain things the biblical portrait of a blessed man is abraham the biblical portrait of wisdom is solomon the biblical portrait of the prophetic is elijah the biblical portrait of the law is moses hallelujah the biblical portrait of love is john the biblical portrait of faith is peter and so on and so forth may you be a portrait that represents something to the body of christ in the name of jesus christ number three kingdom definition of success we're talking about wisdom so i want to get it straight with us so that we know what we are not talking about tonight number three it means to accomplish your life goals and your god-given assignment success in the kingdom means you accomplish your life goals you accomplish your god-given assignment he said my meat in other words this is what gives me satisfaction to do and to finish the will of him that has sent me he said lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will jeremiah chapter 1 he said before i formed you i knew you i called you i ordained you to be a prophet it means to accomplish your goals in life to do and finish your god-given assignment one more number four it means to be a blessing to mankind success according to the kingdom definition means to be a blessing to mankind both believers and unbelievers the bible says he gives rain both to the godly and ungodly when your life becomes a reference point both to believers and unbelievers you are successful 
he said let your light so shine before men not christians before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven the bible says we are his workmanship created in christ jesus that we may do that which we have been for ordained for hallelujah are you blessed write this word down exploits this is our year of supernatural exploits by the grace of god exploits it means unusual uncommon extraordinary accomplishment unusual uncommon extraordinary accomplishment Hallelujah. Let me give you the definition of wisdom. You're ready? Number one, this is the general definition of wisdom as we know. That wisdom is the accurate application of knowledge this is the general definition of wisdom wisdom is the accurate application of knowledge when knowledge is applied or information is applied accurately we call that wisdom are you there accurate application of knowledge but you see the wisdom i'm talking about tonight is not just the one that fits this definition it's a higher realm mark six mark six let's examine this kind this type and this dimension Mark 6. Say after me, I received this wisdom. Are you there? Mark 6 verse 1. Let's hurry up. And he went out from there and came into his own country. And his disciples followed him. Verse 2. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. He said, and many hearing him were what? astonished saying from where had this man these things he said and what wisdom is this which is given unto him and through that wisdom what happens he said that even such mighty works i'm talking about the kind of wisdom that will grant you access to command exploits beyond the realm of this earth this is not the kind of wisdom you find around the bible says jesus walked in that level of wisdom and when he began to talk they asked him they said from where where is this man coming from and what wisdom is this everybody say what wisdom is this so let's define the dimension of wisdom we are talking about this wisdom is the supernatural ability the supernatural ability to use the inspired and the written word of god to solve life's problems and make accurate decisions the supernatural ability to use the word of god both written and inspired to solve the problems of life 
and to make accurate decisions. This is the dimension of wisdom that the ancients used in the Bible and they commanded exploits. The ability to use the word of God and all the inspirations that come from the Holy Spirit to give it applicable value here in the earth realm and command results with it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's examine a few kinds of wisdom that we have. James 3. I want to take this carefully tonight because I want everybody to understand this. I want us to get it. The Bible took time to talk about this dimension of wisdom. In the book of Proverbs, wisdom even cries. Wondering why people are not interested in her pursuit. And it says wisdom is the principal thing. Let's look at James 3. We read from verse 13 to 17. But the verse of emphasis is verse 15. From verse 13. It says, Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good life his works with meekness and wisdom. Verse 14. But if he are bitter envy and strife in your heart, that means there are some levels of wisdom that only produce this. Glory not and lie not against the truth. Verse 15. Are you ready? It says, this wisdom descended not from above. So we see the first kind of wisdom. This is the one we are talking about. The wisdom that comes from above. Hallelujah. The apostle is contracting, is, is contrasting a wisdom that comes from above with other kinds of wisdom. Number one, the wisdom that comes from above. This one is given by God alone. You don't read for it. You can't search it out. Let's continue. Number two, he said, but it's earthly. So we have earthly wisdom, human wisdom, what we call common sense. The ability to know that if you touch fire, it will burn you. The ability to know that you cannot sit down on water ordinarily. Earthly wisdom, Sophia. Hallelujah. Number three, sensual wisdom. This is the wisdom that you get through study, scientific wisdom, philosophical wisdom. Hmm. Wisdom that comes through studies. Hallelujah. That's the kind of wisdom that makes all of the things that we have that help us relate with our environment. And then the fourth kind of wisdom. The Bible calls it devilish or demonical wisdom. This is the wisdom that is gotten from the underworld. This is the wisdom that you get by your alliance and your allegiance with Satan. This is the wisdom that was used to build Egypt a type of Babylon it was the wisdom that Pharaoh and the Egyptians used and they accomplished supernatural extraordinary things but hear what the Bible says verse 17 this is the wisdom we are considering tonight he said but the wisdom that is from above come on now where is it from it's not from the earth realm I will show you that you cannot find it. It does not have a physical location in the earth realm. It's first pure, peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. This is the wisdom we are talking about. This dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten in this earth realm. Wisdom from above. 
above and beyond anything that you know everybody say I receive that wisdom hallelujah there is this dimension of wisdom and there are men and women who are walking in this level of wisdom today Solomon in scripture the Bible says that Solomon had an interaction with God and he was given this wisdom and the reign of Israel during the dispensation of Solomon as theologians tell us is the closest to the biblical portrait of what the millennial reign looks like there was no war hallelujah Solomon became king and he brought rest and abundance to the nation of Israel no war during his time there was peace and tranquility by this wisdom and tonight I pray that we will find it we will find it so that you and some of your family members will rest forever I pray for you that you will find it there are some things that when you find they become life they exempt you forever hallelujah Job 28 how do we access this wisdom this supernatural ability that is not just found lying around this wisdom that defies scientific wisdom wisdom that is bigger than studies wisdom that is bigger than age age does not give this kind of wisdom this is the wisdom that when they gathered around with job many people were speaking out of different wisdom earthly wisdom sensual wisdom and any who said uh -uh. he said i was young and you people were old so i thought to keep quiet he said i thought that experience should teach wisdom but there is a spirit in man any kind of man hallelujah solomon was a very young boy when he began to lead the nation of israel 12 years of age but he became a king with this mighty wisdom and he ruled for 40 years 12 years how old are you those who celebrated their birthdays how old are you but a 12 year old boy confused and perplexed you see why he asked god for wisdom what will you expect a 12 year old boy to ask wife husband he said oh lord i'm but a small boy and god said don't worry there is a kind of wisdom that when it comes upon you you will produce exploits for 40 years hallelujah job 28 for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way. It's a long reading. Let me read. This is Job. The Bible calls Job the richest, blessed, blessed man in the East. He was a great man. When the elders saw him, they stood up. The young men saw him and they bowed their face. They could not look at him. What dimension of wisdom brought him to that level of success? Read with me, 28. Surely, there is a vein for silver that means where silver is mine has been found by men is that true and a place for gold where they refine it iron is taken out of the earth and bronze is smelted out of stone he set it an end to darkness and searched out all perfection the stones of darkness and the shadows of death listen Verse 6, he said the stones of it are the place of sapphires and it had the dust of gold. He's trying to tell you what the wisdom, the philosophical wisdom of men have been able to accomplish. He said through that wisdom, they have even been able to find where gold and silver is hidden. 
They can come here and not need to dig down to the earth to tell you whether there is gold or silver. That's a measure of wisdom. Hallelujah. But verse 7 says, There is a part which no fowl knoweth. Birds fly in the air. They see things that men cannot see. But he said there is a part that even the eyes of the bird cannot reach. No matter what plane it stands to search it out, it cannot see it. They say, and the falcon's eye has not seen it. The lion's whelps, the lion that does not fear any animal, it is not restricted. But he say, even the lion has not been able to discern that place. He put forth his hand upon a rock and overturned the mountain by its roots. He cut out rivers among the rock and his eyes see every precious thing. He binded the floods from overflowing. And the thing that is hidden bring it forth into light. Verse 12, are you there? Here's the question. But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? This is a question. With all the excavations that happen, there are cranes today that build all kinds of towers in the earth. Man has been able to stretch and explore wisdom. There are houses that have been built inside the sea. There are bridges that they build across seas. But the Bible says, where is this very wisdom? That with all the advancement of science, men have not found it. Let's fast for the location of this wisdom. 13. He said, man knoweth not its price. Neither is it found where? In the land of the living. In other words, it is not in this earth realm. You cannot find it here. No matter how intelligent you are, this is the wisdom that is above and beyond this earth realm. The depth. Where is the depth? The deep places. The places of the occult. The places where they do all kinds of things. That even the occultic realm has this to say. It is not with me. And the sea said it is not with me. That's why even wealthy people in the earth realm have not been able to find this wisdom. And the recession that is coming will prove it. That although the, the sea represents the abundance of people. Because the Bible says I will give you the abundance of the sea. He said even the sea, those who have worked in abundance, who claim they have found the wisdom. All of the people that Forbes magazine is listing. The Bible says they have not found it. And time will show that what they had was not wisdom. There was famine in Samaria to an extent that people did not have any resource. They finished eating animals. They ate plants and grasses. It was remaining only human beings. And mother said, let's start eating our children. Where were the philosophers and the, the intelligent people? There will be a replay of that. Yeah. The Bible says it in Malachi 4. That the earth will burn with an oven. And all those who do wickedly will be embarrassed. Let me tell you the truth. If you do not access this wisdom, whatever else you have are just shadows. Are you getting blessed tonight? The Bible says, 15, it cannot be gotten for gold. That means you don't buy this wisdom with money. If you could buy it with money, the wicked wealthy men, including the Illuminati, they will buy everything and be the custodians of it. But the Bible says, this one, even gold, cannot buy it. You can't buy it. It's not the personal possession of any man. It cannot be weighed for silver. It is not valued with the gold of Ophir and the precious onyx and the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it and the exchange of it is not for the jewels of gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearl or the price of wisdom is above rubies. It says the topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it. Neither shall it be valued with pure gold. 20. Whence then Comet wisdom. 
Where is this wisdom that everything that men value today cannot buy it? This is what Solomon saw. And when he caught it, every other thing that could not buy it followed him. Come on now. I give you a master key. The Bible says that wisdom is the principal thing. Listen to the word of God when he speaks. Because they are life to those who find them. Many people will not listen. This is the problem, pastor. It's not just the hearers. There are some of you looking at me and you are saying, is this thing really important? It will be important when all else fail in your life. My son, the Bible says, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of your heart. They are life to those who find I show you a way, a way of escape out of the nonsense that many people live forever. There are people perpetually forever. There are some who have enslaved their generations forever. One of it is America. 17 trillion US dollars in debt. Increasing by an average of 12 billion dollars every day. How many generations will pay it? They are the ones we call the wise. They are the ones who are trying to follow. The Bible says they can't buy this wisdom. Are you hearing me? With all the wisdom of the military and the wisdom of governments, they've not been able to stop war. But a 12-year-old boy came with this wisdom and for 40 years, there was peace in the nation. Where is this wisdom? My God, I pray that somebody will get this wisdom. Solomon with this wisdom made silver like the dust. Silver like the dust. If you find silver outside, you are traveling to Kano first thing tomorrow morning to go and sell it. First thing. But the time came, people saw it and they just left it. My God, I receive that dimension of wisdom. I receive it. Let's finish up. Seeing it is hidden from the eyes of all living and kept close from the fowls of the air. Abaddon, the place of the dead, and death say, we have heard its fame with our ears. God understandeth his way. This is the secret. He said, with all this confusion that men are having, God is saying, I know where it is. I know where it is because I kept it. And I know the place of it. Where is this wisdom? How can you access this wisdom? With this wisdom, Daniel entered a strange land. And he ruled through the dispensation of three different kings. The same result. The same result. Through the dispensation of three different kings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This dimension of wisdom. We are talking about accessing this wisdom now. This dimension of wisdom only comes from God. The first thing I want you to know about this wisdom in, an, in accessing it is that it is given. Everybody say it is given. God gives men. You don't study it. You don't look for it. It's a waste of time. God gives men. Hallelujah. When you meet his conditions, he will give it to you. God gives men. Ready? Let me write the conditions for you. The conditions for accessing this dimension of wisdom. Number one, you must have a passionate love for God and his agenda. The Bible says, I has not seen nor ear heard neither has it come into the heart of man what god has prepared for them that love him not them that speak in tongues not them that attend koinonia eye has not seen ear has not heard what god has in store for who them that love him we are going to examine solomon's life very quickly before we pray because he's the biblical portrait let me teach you something 
every time you are searching out for something in life stop confusing yourself go back to the word and look for those who were biblical portraits of that thing you are looking for the bible says look to abraham your father and to sarah that Betty. he said i called him alone and i blessed him that means as far as god is concerned when you are talking about blessings and prosperity abraham is god's portrait of a blessed man not bill gates not warren buffett not carlos limas hilu not all of those great men thank god for them but he said look to abraham your father and to sarah that Betty. when it comes to wisdom it was given to solomon there are many people that operated that dimension of wisdom daniel different people but we are going to examine the life of Solomon. Let's look at his life quickly. Conditions for, for, for accessing that wisdom. Number one, passionate love for God. First Kings chapter 3. I prayed my heart out and I said, Lord, let your people find wisdom. May they find wisdom. Many of you will thank God for these teachings years to come. Are you there? First Kings 3. Let's examine the life of this biblical figure that was able to access this level of wisdom. The first thing the Bible has to say about Solomon in chapter 3 verse 3 is that and Solomon loved the Lord. Everybody say Solomon loved the Lord. And Solomon did what? The Bible didn't say and Solomon served the Lord. Solomon love the Lord see let me tell you your love and passion for God is the number one thing he's searching for even beyond your service there are many people who serve God but they do not love God they don't have that passionate love they are only serving God because of formality or because of their environment you are in a family where everybody is a Christian so you have to go to church you have to come for koinonia he said and Solomon did what love the lord that means every other thing that he did was because of that love a man can serve god because of wife i hope you know that a man can serve god because of husband a man can serve god because of the whiplash of employment and you just find the nearest church and say ah let me find refuge in this place and rest before i find out what is going on people can serve god for various reasons for car for house for prosperity for job he said but solomon loved the lord do you love the Lord? The first condition for accessing this wisdom. This is why the kings of the earth cannot get it. Because they do not love the Lord. I love you Lord. I love you Lord. It's from the bottom of my heart. I love you Lord. I love you Lord. It's from the bottom of my heart. I love you Lord. I love you, Lord, from the bottom of my heart. See, when you give God your heart, not your hands, not your tears, when you give God your heart, I'm giving you a big secret. Many Nigerians do not love God. Many pastors do not love God. They love ministry. They love suits. They want ministry advancement, but they do not love the Lord. Many leaders in this country do not love the Lord. Many young people, hustlers who keep hustling forever, they don't love the Lord. Many fathers, many mothers do not love the Lord. And we wonder why his blessings and his wisdom is far from us. Some of you here looking at me don't love the Lord. You love the house of God. You love the people of God. You love Christian music, but you don't love the Lord. And Solomon loved the Lord. And Solomon loved the Lord. Can that be your testimony? That will say, ah, and Eben loved the Lord. And Paul Maman loved the Lord. Some of you, as you say, and you love the Lord, your spirit will tell you, no way. 
He said, and you are now willing to love the Lord. Not that you love the Lord. I keep emphasizing this passion for God. Because if you are not rooted in love, success will make you run away from God. Are you hearing me? Success will make you do what? Let me tell you. If you enter real success, it's a double-edged sword. It can kill you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are levels. The, the problem is many people in Nigeria are so poor and unsuccessful, it cannot even cross their mind what true success looks like. And Solomon loved the Lord. That's the first condition. Number two, you must have a sincere desire to be a blessing. You want to access this wisdom? You must have what? A sincere desire to be a blessing. Same first Kings 3 from verse 8 and 9. God gave Solomon an open check. He says, Solomon, what do you want me to give you? Look up. If Solomon was a Nigerian and God says, Solomon, what do you want me to give you? His first question will be, is he only me? Will there be any other person with it? Say, no, only you. He say, ha. God, you better carry paper and buy room. Let me empty my whole life. Let me tell you what I want. The first thing is, any day anybody speaks against me, let him die. One. Two. All the people that have called me a failure, prove a point to them. Is that not true? Number three. Make those people serve me. So that forever it will remind them. Let me tell you, hear me. If that is your desire, I assure you, it is not God's wisdom you will ever get in life. You can get any other thing, but you can't get God's wisdom that way. The Bible says, indeed, Genesis 12 verse 2, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. There are many people who, who, who jump in church. Oh, I'm a millionaire. I tell them, you can get it by, by working for 50 years. But I assure you, if it is through the wisdom of God, your heart must be ready to be a blessing. Otherwise, you cannot access this wisdom. Do you know how many self-centered, selfish people we have in this world? Some of you are saying, me, I'm not selfish. How much have you held that you know whether you are selfish or not? Solomon had the opportunity to say, Lord, me and my wife and all the people, bless me. Hear what he said, verse 8. He said, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people. People, people. When you love God truly, you will love people many pastors preach day and night to congregations they don't love they are just trying to use the congregations to show they are making progress in ministry i told god if you never bless me in this life if i never become successful in this life i may do many things but not loving you is not one of them he has my heart believe me I've crossed a bridge and burnt it that I'll never return again. When you see God blessing certain people, check their heart. I had Bishop Oyedeko shout this thing. He said, you want to know the secret of my blessing and the blessing of this ministry. Check my heart beat for God. There are many of you, if God says, between 12 this night and 1, Anything you pray, anything you ask me, I will give you. I mean, Jesus appears to you. The first thing is you wipe sleep from your eyes and stand. And mention the name of all your loved ones. And mention everything. Till five minutes to one, you will sit down and say, Lord, I'm still thinking. Okay, I remember. Do this for me, for me, for me. I trust God that in the years to come, in koinonia our testimony will not just be god gave me tea god gave me bread god gave me a handkerchief but that god used me to do this for somebody else it is at that point we will clap right now we are clapping for god change me and we thank you for it god did this a millionaire is not one who has one million 
a millionaire is one who has become a blessing to people with up to one million oh god i want this i want fame i want power give me this church oh god i'm tired of wearing suit that tailor sold i want to wear the one that i'm buying up oh god change my story and god is saying for you or for me or for my kingdom and god said well, this when we get to that bridge have you had people say that to you? say when we get there we'll cross it you better god can see your heart everybody say i love the lord and i desire to be a blessing see can i tell you if you are looking for success for yourself you don't need much effort you know but you know that how many clothes can you wear how many books can you write but when your heart is set for the kingdom of god then you are you are not ready for the avalanche of exploits that you will do there are many people who want anointing some people come to me they just say oh man of god these are Buddha people again they come oh man of god my ministry we've not been experiencing the hand of god and I've, I, I trust god for the oil of your life as if i'm selling it say man of god i believe if you touch me there will be an explosion and i'm saying look at this guy from the way he's talking from the way he's talking this guy is going to yoke and kill the sheep There are many people who want to go on air. Oh God, take me on air. God say you, for because of the way I love you, you won't cross this realm of ministry. When you see God not blessing some people, don't be too quick to beg on their behalf. Ask God why first. Some of our fathers have prayed. We have done Bible studies. We brought prophet, priest, king. We brought everybody to our houses. Change our story. Oh God, say amen. God said no way. You are the one shouting amen there. I have seen your heart. Are you ready to be a blessing? I'm telling you a secret. It does not cause God to change your family or your situation. But can he have your heart? Are you ready to truly be a blessing? Can you sit down today and see a family come and they love God? And you just look and the Lord say, build a, build a three bedroom flat for them. And don't announce it. Build it, put everything and come and tell them this was why God blessed me. You say, if I do this to you, here's the condition. It must be on newspaper. It must be on CNN. All of you must come and kneel down and say thank you and I will give you the key in front of everybody. That way, they will now know that I'm serving the Lord. It doesn't work that way. How many of you are ready to be blessed? How many of you know that if, if you are successful today, you will give scholarships, you will build orphanages, you will build churches. Let me tell you the truth, many of you are lying because you've never done anything with the 10,000 you have. Even your tithe, you have not been faithful. You just saw 1,000, hey, 1,000. You can buy palm oil, you can buy salt. Magi one tier. Gary, if he's the half one, said it will reach. number three so number one a passion for god and his agenda number two a sincere desire to be a blessing say i'm a blessing, I'm a blessing. say i refuse to be a consumer say it i refuse to be a consumer i'm not that man praying for god to bless others have you had that kind of nonsense satanic anti god's agenda prayer where they say may god bless you oh as you bless please our pocket is open drop it for us what kind of cause is that there are people in life who are waiting that's that's their prayer oh god bless this guy he has already gone far just finish with him for my sake because we hate paying the price say god please the way the way tokumbo is going now lord i thank you keep blessing him i say tk i'm praying for you i'm praying for you the prayer i would have done for myself i'm doing for you don't forget me no no you must desire to be a blessing because you see how can you pay so much price just to bless others does it look fair it's not it's not the attitude of natural men 
when you suffer alone what happens you chop alone that's what they've taught us in nigeria pastor <laughs> they can't die alone. hallelujah that's the language of nigerians i suffered alone were you there when i was suffering say no so now it's my turn to chop i don't know you i don't know your name we have never met Uh, Fatima say Fatima me I don't know you I've never seen you if your heart is not said to be a blessing I am telling you I'm not just talking of money you will never really get anything hallelujah a sincere desire to be a blessing number three to access this wisdom you need to operate the law of giving first kings 3 verse 4 that's what we see in the life of solomon everybody say the law of giving any day i talk about the law of giving don't be confused let me tell you straight to the point what i'm talking about the law of giving is number one your tithe whenever i talk of the law of giving it's not some unambiguous thing number one your tithe malachi chapter 3 from verse 20 to 12 let me tell you something I don't care any other giving you give even if you give one billion for any project if your tithe does not precede your giving life you only wasted your time are you hearing what i'm saying your tithe is your number one obligation in the law of giving please listen to me i pray that god will make many of you see that this is not some scheme by men of god to collect money from you because if that is it you you will never be successful this is not about money it's about maintaining an open heavens the bible says bring ye all your tithe into my storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now here which saith the lord if i will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive he said and i will rebuke the devourer for your sake he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground neither shall your vine cast its young and he says you will be a delight some land and you will be blessed seven prophetic blessings that follow a title many people think tight is all about money tight is about giving god first place in your life hallelujah Oh, how much? It's just 5,000. Even God understands. Oh, my father gave his tithe for me. All these flimsy excuses will keep you a failure in life. Say, I receive grace to tithe. Be consistent. I have envelopes, envelopes in my house. Anything that comes in, I've told you this is the secret of the blessings of ENI. It's not a mystery. The finance department are on perpetual instruction. I don't care money for what is raised in this place. Before we touch one naira or one dollar or one pound, one whatever it is, the tithe is taken first. When we started the school of ministry, the same thing. The tithe, as I speak to you right now, the tithe for the collection of this night is already set. There were many trees in the garden of eden but god kept the tithe and told man don't touch it every time you take what god did not give you he will return back or something he will collect some something that he had given you say amen every time some of you you take the tithe what happens he will drive you out of the garden hallelujah could this be the reason why some of you may never go far in life You take 10,000. You say, Lord, in my heart I've given you. But right now, let me just use this quickly. Let me just buy Panadol. I promise you. There's 120,000 coming on Wednesday. When it comes, I will add it. These are gimmicks by Satan to kill you. Some of you, you, you in your mind, you even have it in a pen. You're tied from March to now that you plan to give God. But you have not yet given. You say, God, you look at the heart. Number two, your kingdom investments. I'm talking of your offerings. I'm talking of your seeds that are sown in the house of God. If you have a business tight, 
you have a church tight you have anything tight tight and you and open heavens so your kingdom investments and then giving to God's servants prophet offerings and giving to the needy these are the things that constitute the law of giving the Bible says in 1st Kings 3 verse 4 it says Solomon offered a thousand everyone say 1,000 bond offerings say 1,000 look up we are not up to 1,000 in this place do you know what it means to see a field as big as football field and you just stand from somewhere and see them dragging animals 800 801 802 870 900 950 991 to 1000 and then they cut all of them you just see blood spilling around what waste what waste and god saw a man doing this while solomon got to the 900 one he said lord steal for you he got to 991 he said lord for you and he killed the 1000 and god said no way god himself had to come down and say solomon you have touched me you have touched me in what do you want come on now there are some sacrifices that will compel the presence of god hallelujah in my little life i've had the opportunity to do some dangerous givings i've told you god does not love a cheerful giver alone god also loves a crying giver there is he that weepeth and bearing precious seeds there is he that weepeth there are some givings that you don't just give laughing you will give and cry you will give and call yourself a fool after the service how be it your faithfulness will endure finally under accessing this wisdom ask of the lord first kings 3 verse 9 solomon acts of the lord solomon acts of the lord for an understanding heart james 1 verse 5 the bible says does any man lack wisdom let him ask of the lord let him ask of the lord tonight we are going to be asking i told you this wisdom see this wisdom comes to you from god it's an impartation solomon discusses with god in the night in a dream the next day he wakes up and he starts judging with that wisdom immediately immediately daniel daniel i'm going we're going to consider that scripture quickly before we pray daniel when the king had a dream could not interpret it he said let's just rest he rested that night that wisdom worked this is not the kind of wisdom that will happen over time uh -uh. when it comes on you it speaks at once hallelujah finally before we pray let's consider the workings of this dimension of wisdom the operation how does it work i've told you what it is i've told you how to access it how does this wisdom work proverbs 18 verse 1 the first way is the sacrifice of meditation this is how this this is the first way this wisdom begins to find expression what did i say the sacrifice of meditation proverbs 18 verse 1 the bible says true desire a man having separated himself seek it and intermeddled with all wisdom meditation meditation many of us do not understand the power of meditation when you set aside time and you sit alone and you begin to allow the holy spirit to find expression and then that wisdom begins to find expression meditation Daniel chapter 2 from verse 14 to 6 please let's look at it quickly I want to show you a very sound warning and impart wisdom for some of us Daniel 2 
I cried for many years to the Lord. I said, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Daniel 2 from verse 14. Are you there? Say amen. Let's read it quickly. Verse 14. Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Arioch, the captain of the king's guard, who was gone for to slay the wise men of Babylon. They could not interpret the king's dream. Look at this wicked king. You had your dream and you forgot and you were angry. Just like many people in Nigeria, they blame people for their failed dreams. They wanted to be great, it didn't happen. And now they are angry at everybody. Listen, Daniel said this in verse 15. And he answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, Why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariok made the thing known to Daniel. 16, listen. He said, then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he should give him, that he should give him. This is what has killed a lot of people in our generation. We are in a rush for everything. That's why the spirit of wisdom, the touch of wisdom is not upon our lives. We are in a hurry to make money, a hurry to do everything, a hurry to get that job. A hurry to do everything in life and so we don't consult with God we don't pray we don't have time to meditate to allow the wisdom of God to edit our lives the Bible says many are the counsel that are in a man's heart however it's a many are the purposes in a man's heart however the counsel of the Lord that shall stand we never do anything as a, in a minute let me tell you something anybody that comes to meet you with anything in life in a rush run away quickly did you hear me run away quickly daniel said uh -uh, king you are rushing this thing too much he said give me time if you give me time i will meditate and the lord will reveal to me and i will tell you let me show you another scripture we'll soon get up and pray are you there Zupa kata paria kata basham brati kata. Verse nineteen. He said, "Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision, when he he had time, and he went in the night, meditating upon this thing, and during the night time, not the night moment, the night time, this thing was revealed to him." every time you take time see there is nothing that should compel your excessive hurrying in life because your hurrying in life will produce casualties that when you get to that place it will hurt you and those who have been walking slowly will come and pass you you see somebody running and is running on 200 and somebody is running on 120 the next thing they are bringing the mirror out of the bush and the man is sitting on the blood on the ground with blood and somebody who was going on 120 will come and pass and say sorry what was the rush for especially for some of us who are men make sure you think through don't make stupid decisions no matter how much you think you know the answer there is a way that cement right onto a man but see great leaders are not men of hasty decisions they think through no matter what the urgency is learn this is a big secret in life daniel said tell the king to give us time and this wisdom will work hallelujah the sacrifice of meditation everybody say i receive grace to meditate some of the things you see today are the things that we get by meditation this is how i get the messages for the week i spend time i pray and i just sit in his presence and allow this wisdom that cannot be found in the land of men when that wisdom comes you know accurately what it is that god wants you to do hallelujah
Number two, this wisdom manifests when you begin to speak or make decisions. It's supernatural. It's supernatural. It's not wisdom that is rehearsed. All of you, some of, please look at me, look at me. Let me show you that some of you have already been working in this thing. How many of you have had someone come to counsel you? I mean, somebody come for you to counsel the person. And you know that you are not married, yet you are talking to couples about something there is no way you would have known. You didn't rehearse it. You didn't rehearse what to tell them. This is that wisdom. It's like you are prophesying. Somebody will ask you a question and you begin to speak. You are talking and for hours at the end of it, you wish you recorded your message because you know you can't find it again. This is that dimension of wisdom. Are you listening to me? Somebody say, I received that wisdom. Luke 21 verse 15. If you can project it using the amplified version, but let's just look at it. Luke 21 quickly. Somebody will access this wisdom tonight in the name of Jesus. Somebody will access this wisdom tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Luke 21, verse 15. It said, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which your adversaries shall not be able to. To resist nor gain say listen listen this wisdom begins to manifest when you are speaking it's not something that you have that you say i have it I can. no the moment you open your mouth you will begin to utter things that are not of this realm hallelujah and so you go to your office and they are deliberating on a decision and many people are just bringing foolish theories that are not applicable and you keep quiet like Elihu suddenly you will open your mouth he said open your mouth and I will feel it he didn't say I'll open your mouth when I feel it open your mouth and I will feel it suddenly you begin to communicate wisdom and they look at you my father calls me a young man with gray hair ah, there is a dimension of wisdom that when you speak people will look at you and say no this cannot be wisdom that is accumulated by experience this is an impartation of this dimension of wisdom i pray in the name of the lord jesus that from today as you open your mouth to speak you will speak that order and that operation of wisdom many of you have used your mouth to close the doors of your destiny because what came out was foolishness not wisdom or what came out was just scientific knowledge i pray for someone tonight i pray for someone tonight may god make that when you meet your destiny helper the right words that will be upon your lips that will compel men there are many people today moving around with business proposals and they know what books say they should say but the bible says i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece could this be what you need to tell your project supervisor for him to let you go with your work? Could this be that this is what you need to tell somebody to help you with capital for your business? Could it be that this is what you need to tell somebody to employ your loved ones? Let the opening of our lips utter wisdom that is beyond this realm so that you will be noted for that wisdom. Matthew chapter 10 verse 19 to 20 we're running Matthew chapter 10 I feel the power of God in this place we're going to pray this this wisdom must hit somebody this night this wisdom must hit somebody this night someone must write it in your jota that on this day you encounter the dimension of wisdom that cannot be found in the land of the living verse 19 matthew 10 verse 19 but when they deliver you up that means when you are in trouble he said do not be anxious how or what you shall speak for it shall be given you in the same hour he said it shall be given to you when 
that means when you stand even if you don't know what to say some of you when they invite you to preach you are shaking you are saying oh god what will i say hold on hold that mic now with that spirit of wisdom and you will be amazed at the utterances that will come out of your lips verse 20 he said for it is not you that speak but the spirit of your father that does what speaks in you so although you have seen a man what is really happening is the spirit of god speaking to a man that's why you weigh the man and weigh the wisdom that is coming and say what wisdom is this i pray that in years to come this will be the testimony that they will produce a documentary on some of you and name it what wisdom is this you will do things that defy the wisdom of men that the world will celebrate you for it solomon operated in this dimension of wisdom there were two women who came two harlots one slept on a child and by that wisdom he deciphered accurately and the bible says his fame was spread abroad there is a level of wisdom that will ripple across territories people will share it let me tell you something people have mouths that can talk they can as well talk about your wisdom and say when it comes to brother so and so no this is a this this guy operates in a class of wisdom that is not known to men Doth not wisdom cry Doth not wisdom cry look at how solomon cried with this thing in the book of proverbs solomon said wisdom is begging people wisdom stands on the street and see many people looking for success Doth not wisdom cry wisdom was crying and said pay attention to me with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches but people will not listen The third way this wisdom manifests is through innovative and inspired ideas inspired thoughts job 32 verse 8 but there is a spirit in man and that spirit can bring inspiration everybody say inspiration that dimension of wisdom How did they build the tabernacle in the wilderness look at me they were in the wilderness there was no source of help but they got wisdom from God and they built the tabernacle in the wilderness brothers and sisters I can kneel down and beg you tonight do not trivialize the power of what I'm telling you there are some messages until you get to certain realms it may not be useful but when you get to that realms you can never be a leader without this you will waste your time there are many frustrated men of god who have power but don't have wisdom it takes wisdom it takes wisdom to be a leader it takes wisdom to be a father it doesn't take age it takes wisdom it takes wisdom to command prosperity it doesn't take years of time it takes this wisdom lastly dreams and visions daniel chapter 2 from verse 19 to 23 the bible says and the secret of the lord that secret was revealed to daniel in the vision of the night how many times have i laid down to sleep and in the visions of the night god opens things to me that cannot be found in this realm that's how some of these messages come see can i tell you something some of these great men like don muen and the rest the reason why some of their songs are timeless is because they came by this wisdom it is this wisdom that transported it there are others whose songs just came from musical argument so it will change as time changes but there are others it comes with a spirit the wisdom of God comes from the realm of eternity. 
That's why some of these messages are timeless. Even after 30 years, they will still be relevant because they come by the wisdom of God. There are some messages that have gone extinct. As the church of God is growing, they pack them and throw them away. But there are certain fathers of faith who have gone to be with the Lord. But their messages are timeless because they were a byproduct of this wisdom. Get wisdom. Get understanding. He said, exalt and she shall promote you. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 it says God who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us so he spake to us in sundry times and in diverse manners communicates his wisdom to us an idea that people will be dying for in the night see do you know that Solomon received his wisdom in a dream if he had a roommate, the roommate will never know that something has happened. You just wake up in the morning. Come on now. Not the same person who slept. I pray that someone will sleep in the night as an ordinary person and wake up in the morning with an order of wisdom. I cried to God years in my life. I said, Lord, I want you to give me this wisdom. This message I'm preaching to you tonight is an old message. It's an old message. I'm preaching to you my experience. I found this thing. And I said, come on, Lord. A 12-year-old boy? Lord, I'm available. Give me wisdom that is bigger than my level in life. Give me wisdom that is bigger than my experience. Give me wisdom that is bigger than everything I know. That wisdom will take you to a place where everybody around you is an elder except you. Yet they will give you a seat among the great. There are some of you, this wisdom will make, if you ever see your colleagues, it's just because you want to discuss with them. But as far as success is concerned, uh -uh, it will take you to a realm. Everybody is far older than you. They will say, how did you come this fast? It takes men years to do this. Exploits by this dimension of wisdom. Through wisdom is any house built. Through wisdom. Through wisdom. Through wisdom. Through wisdom. Through wisdom. There are times I'm meditating. Nobody distracts me. Because at that time, the spirit of wisdom comes into my room and begins to bring illumination, witty ideas, inventions, uncommon solutions that are not known to men. Hear me. Many of you will have, it may not speak now because of the time component of life, but wait until he starts speaking. See, there are some of you, I tell you the truth, Zaria is too small for you. Everybody is watching you, but you know that what is inside you is bigger than Zaria, is bigger than Nigeria. That young man called Zuckerberg, before Facebook went far, there were people who wanted to buy it before the idea became global and they wanted to buy it for 8 billion. He had not even become a millionaire then. He was just, they wanted to price his idea. He said, no, I know this thing will shake the world. 8 billion is too small. At that level, see, I tell you the truth. In my mind, I've left Zaria. In my mind, I'm out of this country. There are some of you, the Bible says there are some people this earth was not worthy of. This earth was not worthy of. You are seated in the crowd. Some of you as you are looking at me like this. That's how one day you will sit down. Wisdom will give you a seat. There are no vacant seats. Only the one wisdom creates. The seats in Nigeria have finished. But wisdom can make room. It can give you a seat. I bring you a message. Stop wasting your life and wasting your time. Galloping in confusion. You can walk circumspectly. No matter what the price is, pay it with wisdom and you will know you are paying it for the last time. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. Let us give our generation what our fathers did not give. For the next five minutes, we are going to cry. 
I want you to take it serious. You're going to cry your heart. The Bible says, let him ask of God. I have seen this in my life in a measure. I can tell you there is something called the spirit of wisdom. You will shock men. Lift your voice and begin to cry. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Shoko protekete. Thank God for your degree, but get wisdom. Thank God for PhD, but get wisdom. Thank God for books, but get wisdom. Shekete bokoto pre. Rekete koso telekosa. Reko bros keriere bos that divine ability to take the word of God and translate it come on pray sister pray my brother pray for the sake of your generation pray it say Lord I always knew I'm not ordinary come on pray like a warrior pray like a champion Pray like a destiny shaker. You will do terrible things in righteousness. You will do terrible things. The wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. You will shock men. You will shock men in business. You will surprise people. In entrepreneurship, you will preach for things that have never been done before. In your career, you will excel through wisdom. In your academics, wisdom will give you a place that your age cannot give you. Wisdom will take you beyond your geographical limitations. Pray. 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 I receive this wisdom. Take it serious tonight. This is a destiny decision. Take it serious tonight. This can mean the difference between you and other people. Show close compare a Korea top and a break a Lord, change my life. Change my life. Change my life. I'm ready to leave the realm where I am to a higher level. I am tired of this level of finances. Tired of this level of leadership. Tired of this level of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray right now and say, Lord, I receive a baptism of love for you and grace to bless your people. Lift your voice and pray. A baptism of love. A baptism of love. Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond prayer meetings. A baptism of love. With a fresh passion. A fresh passion. A fresh passion. A fresh passion. Hallelujah. 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 Next prayer point. 
you're going to say lord this night kill greed and self-centeredness from my life forever lift your voice and pray lord kill it greed self-centeredness take it away from my life that mentality of i me and myself that mindset you are just thinking of yourself no you will never have sex with your family Go break it again. I kill self-centeredness in the name of Jesus. I consider others better than myself. The spirit of greed departs from God's people. In this Nigerian mentality of greed, this Nigerian mentality of self-centeredness, the God from us, we are the blessed ones, empowered to bless mankind, empowered to bless mankind, empowered to bless mankind, empowered to bless mankind, empowered to bless mankind. Fire is burning in this place. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I will read this and we'll take the last prayer point. I tell you, this wisdom is hitting somebody in this place. I know it. Some of you will write it from this night. Listen to me. Proverbs 18. I will read it. Oh my God. Some of you, your, your family will thank you on their knees. They will thank you. They will thank you. You may look like you are nothing. I don't care how your past has been. God specializes in using the things that people think. Some of you have failed so much in life. You don't ever think you can make it. I tell you, take advantage of this wisdom and see how you will be in command of life. Hallelujah. Listen, let me just read this quickly. Listen, Proverbs 18. This is wisdom speaking. Doth not wisdom cry and understanding stand it up standard understanding put forth our voice listen she stands at the top of high places by the way of the places of parts listen she cries at the gates and at the entry of the city at the entrance of the doors unto you O men i call this is wisdom crying calling for attention calling businessmen for attention calling entrepreneurs for attention calling ministers for attention calling family people wisdom is begging and saying you have paid attention to other things can you not give me your attention there is a baptism going on in this place this night he said all oh, you simple understand wisdom and ye fools, be of understanding heart. Hear, for I speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. He said, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing crooked. Wisdom that will take you above tricks and pranks. Receive my instruction, verse 10. And not silver. Stop chasing money stop chasing money stop hustling you will waste your time even if you get it it will not be sustained it will give you high blood pressure it will give you stroke wisdom will give you success with rest listen 11 for wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared with her he said i wisdom i dwell with prudence 
and I find out knowledge of witty inventions. Verse 14. We'll just read 14 to 16 and we'll stop. Listen. It says, counsel is mine. There is no foolishness when you walk with me. Sound wisdom. He said, I am understanding and I have strength. Verse 15. By me, kings reign. Kings don't reign by election. Are you hearing me? By me, kings reign. This is wisdom telling you the things it has done. By me, kings reign. And nobles and even the judges and princes decree justice by me princes rule and the nobles and all the judges of the earth listen 17 I love those who love me and those who seek me early shall find me those who seek me early those who seek me early hear this verse 18 final verse riches that men die for riches that men die for he said they are with me they are not in Aso rock they are not in london they are not in any bank i tell you they are with me riches and honor are with me yeah durable riches long lasting riches and righteousness we are going to pray final prayer point you are going to say Lord let this wisdom fall on me many of you as you pray this prayer I tell you the wisdom of God will hit you some of you will sleep this night you will wake up with visions lift your voice and begin to pray Shake up a tabata tabakai. Let it fall, oh God. Let it fall, oh God. Wisdom from above. Make leaders with wisdom. Let it fall. Wisdom that will shock the world. Wisdom that will shock the business world. Wisdom that will shock the entrepreneurial world. Aya. Wisdom that will shock men in your career. Wisdom that will make your degree meaningful. Wisdom to produce a model family. Wisdom to live perpetually in hell. Wisdom to command prosperity. Shake the Cry. The wisdom is falling. The wisdom is falling. The wisdom is falling. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Open the heavens, oh God. Open the heavens, oh God. Open the heavens, oh God. Receive a baptism. Shake a poriata. Koinonia. Be baptized with the spirit of wisdom. Koinonia. Be baptized with the spirit of wisdom. Koinonia. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let business moguls arise from this wisdom. Lead us. The true secret of kingdom success. The true secret of undeniable kingdom success. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. See? listen listen to me i tell you something take this wisdom from my life and there is no joshua selman again this is the mystery behind this young man you are seeing if you can believe this the day god told me i was not on stage 
the day God gave it to me, you were not there. I tell you, students of the school of the spirit, I want to release upon you a key tonight. I want to release upon you something that will mark your life. For if you believe it, truly you will receive. You can argue it, you can sit down there and watch others, or you can humble yourself and say, Lord, this is it. This is it. My spirit tells me this is it. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Out of the abundance of grace that has been given, I want to pray. I pray that as I declare, may it come upon somebody. Right now in the name of Jesus. Father, you gave me this message. This is the secret that scientists have not been able to discover. This is the realm that defies the limitation of man's wisdom. This is the true secret of kingdom success. We started building last week and I want to pray. I tell you the heavens are open in the name that is above all names. At the count of three, I tell you it will hit this building in a very mighty way. At the count of three, I just like you to shout after the count of three. I receive and begin to receive it in your life. It will change your life. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Lord, let it fall. Take it. 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 Receive it. A baptism. A fire. A baptism. The fire of wisdom. The fire. It comes from above. Let it change your status. The wisdom of Solomon. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Shake it, 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 it. Be marked with wisdom. Be marked with wisdom in business. Be marked with wisdom in your job. Be marked with wisdom. Wisdom to speak. Wisdom to preach. Wisdom to attract wealth. Wisdom to attract honor. Wisdom for health. Take this wisdom and rescue your families. Take this wisdom and change your CGPA. Take this wisdom and change your marital status. Take this wisdom. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take this wisdom and end poverty in your life forever. Take this wisdom and stop begging forever. Take this wisdom and be in command. Command in ministry. Command in business. Command in your place of work. Command in your home. You may be the last born, but let this wisdom take you to the front. Hallelujah. Something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget in a long time. I'm prophesying to you something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget in a long time. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Please sit down for a while. There are people standing outside. Please let there not be any vacant seat. If there is a vacant seat, call them in. There are people standing. God will bless you. Wherever you are, God will visit you. Please let, let's not have any vacant seat. Please, ushers. 
let all the seats be filled. There's no reason why there should be vacant seats while there are people standing outside. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome everyone to our August miracle service. We give God all the glory. Hallelujah. My prayer all the time is that you do not become too familiar with the things that God is doing because he's not always doing the same thing. Hallelujah. Let it not be like Jacob that the Lord was in this place. I want you to know that tremendous amount of prayer and spiritual preparation goes in for every meeting and much more the miracle service. Are you hearing me? God is not a joker. He will not bring you here to play jamboree with you. He said he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. I know that there is a God and I know he will do wonders this night. Matthew chapter 4 very quickly. I welcome everyone. There's so many people coming from different places. Hallelujah. Salute you. I celebrate you. When I was coming in, I saw a number of men of God outside. God bless you. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Matthew 4. My spirit is fired up this night. Verse 23. Matthew 4, verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases. Listen please. Diverse diseases and torments and those who were possessed or oppressed with demons and those who had epilepsy and those who had the palsy and he healed them and there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and beyond the Jordan there are many of us who have come from different parts of this city and different states in this country the Bible says when they all came to Jesus not to a man of God he healed them all. I want you to know that the Lord Jesus is in this place. Are you hearing me? The Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. And by the grace of God, God has given us an anointing. He says, Son of man, prophesy to the dry bones. When he prophesied, he didn't say, Hear ye the word of Ezekiel. He said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the one who sent me to prophesy. So tonight you will hear the word of the Lord. And faith comes by hearing. Listen to me please. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing. The hearing comes by the word of God. When you hear the word of God. You get up. And you take action. Until you have taken action. You have not taken any step of faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Faith is just, it's not just about confession. Faith is about taking action. Every time you do not take action, it's a sign that you are still doubting. Is that true? Bishop Oedeko said, if it is truly the word of God, if it is faith, it will move you into action. If that word does not move you into action, hallelujah, then it means it was not faith. So you cannot move your leg 
and the word of God comes, you receive it. Prove that you have received it by taking action. And Peter held on to his hands and lifted him and the man leaping stood. His bones and ankles regained strength. Take away your eyes from whatever problems. Please, if you've not written your prayer request while you're sitting down, just write it quickly. We have to be very brief this night and be out of here. Praise the Lord. So I want you to believe that you are in the presence of the living God. God will not bring you to waste your time. Realize that it is within his ability to heal you. Do you believe that? It is within his ability to change your story. It's within his ability to anoint you. There are many of us who have stayed at certain levels of grace for a long time. It's time to move forward. The Bible says, ye have tarried around this mountain long enough. Turn ye not words. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you desire, the Bible says, and whatsoever things ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou will have it. So tonight, you are the one that knows the problem. Don't wait for your neighbor to receive for you. As the word of the Lord begins to come, don't wait until your case is called. The calling of the cases of people is just sign, a sign and a wonder. The Bible says Jesus was in the room teaching and the power of God was present to heal. Just like the glory and the power of God is present this night to heal, to deliver. There are many of you, you have been oppressed by all kinds of demonic spirits. You want to move forward. There are strongholds keeping you down. There are strongholds. Hear me please keeping many families down you do everything you know to do and there's no advancement everybody every lady in the family no marriage pretty lady no marriage it's not like you live the promiscuous life that devil will bow this night are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you no job everybody in your family you went to school suffered for years nothing to show forth for it acts 10 38 he said how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power the bible says he went about doing good and healing it didn't say those who were sick healing all day that were oppressed sickness is an oppression are you hearing what i'm saying that terminal disease is an oppression. Tonight, don't give excuse for anything. It's not your sickness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's not your HIV. Yes, you have medical reports. But whose report will you believe tonight? That's the question. Whose report will you believe? Whose report? make up your mind some of you they have concluded about you as you are here right now scattered in this crowd inside and outside there are many of you everybody has concluded about you they said just forget this guy or forget this lady the person is a useless person but the bible says there is hope for a tree even if it be cut down at the scent of water let me tell you something many of you because of certain things you have done like Samson, your hair has been cut this is the place tonight that that hair will grow back he said rejoice not over me my enemies for though i fall yet will i rise again are you listening to me this is the place the bible says son of man what yes thou he said four horns these horns that have lifted up themselves so that no one will lift up his head in Judah. He said, but I will send carpenters. Carpenters. Hallelujah. There are many of you pronouncements and ordinances of wicked men have been decreed over your family that nothing good will come out of your life 
and nothing good will come out of your family. The Bible says, who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not decreed it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us victims of all kinds of satanic assaults. Ordinances and covenants of darkness that have been entered and many of us are suffering things we have no idea of. But the Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Tonight, God will visit you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God will visit you. There are some of you here, you are tired, struggling like my brother shared with all kinds of habits. You are a man of God, great woman of God. But pornography will not live your life. You have, you have fasted, you have prayed. As you are fasting, the devil is still mocking you. Hallelujah. You are still fasting. You are breaking the fast with sleeping with somebody. You are, it's not like you are bad. That devil is a liar this night. Because the hand of the Lord will be strong upon you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some of you, everything you lay your hands to do doesn't work. It will keep working for others till it gets to your turn. Make sure as you are receiving tonight, hear me, every one of us is representing at least a family. Are you listening to me? He said, as for me and my house, they didn't call all of them one by one. Somebody stood in the gap. As for me, that terminal disease eating your father or your mother, he can bow this night. Because the Bible says, wherefore God has so highly exalted him. He said, and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, what will happen? How many knees? How many knees? Help me. How many knees? HIV, cancer. Every knee must bow. The knee that will not bow this night has not been created. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. Question. Where was the handwriting written? There are handwritings, ordinances of darkness. Nothing happens to you until you get to a certain age. Suddenly, some things begin to happen. Some of you, as you are sitting, looking at me and hearing me outside, you are being molested by all kinds of things. You are sleeping in the night. All kinds of devilish things oppressing you. You are afraid. Nobody knows. See, this night, let me tell you, just humble yourself and open up your spirit. Are you hearing me? Keep your whatever it is and say, Lord, do something in my life this night. Hallelujah. Demonic things. The devil and his assaults joining the heads of people playing with people's destinies there are many of you you and your you know this you and your you are perpetually living under a close heaven but this is why the lord brought you tonight the name miracle service we would have called it worship service Miracle service was given by God. Are you hearing me? It was, just, it was not just a name that was formulated. It's a miracle service. And your faith, your faith is that connecting pipe to the power of God. Kenny said something, but was it Kenny or, or, or Pastor Jakes now that said something? Very powerful. He said, make sure that this night you are not watching other people. Some of you like watching other people. Some of you even came because of what you had. Some of you are critics. You just came to verify a lot of things. Some of you came with a sincere desire. Some of you came sluggishly because you like a lady and she said, I'm going for koinonia. I said, oh, love does everything. Let me tell you something. Redefine your priority this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of you are coming as usual. Some of you are coming because you are workers. He said, he that cometh unto him must be first that he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him i came here with an open heart i began to tell the lord from home i said lord i'm the first person the bible says the husband man shall be the first partaker and so i told the lord before 
you begin to touch the people. I'm not being selfish. Hallelujah. Don't stand watching people and say, why are they praying like this? Why are they jumping like this and celebrating God? You can get up, we will share the grace and you will go back. You will be watching. This is, this is the reason why a lot of people think miracles are fake because they have never gotten one. Every time people are open, say, how can a beautiful sister like this be rolling on the ground praying and say, God, visit me. You are carrying your dignified self and God will pass you and touch somebody. And then at the end of it, you see people celebrating miracles and breakthroughs. Testimony is coming and you say it's not true. Why is it that there are only specific people? This thing is stage managed. If you open up your heart, that's what God told Cain. Cain was complaining why Abel was receiving breakthroughs and he was not receiving. God said, if you do what Cain did, will your sacrifice not be accepted? Participate in the meeting this night. Follow instructions diligently. When they say lift up your hands and say amen. Don't say please this lifting up of hands. This is the problem. Say my story must change this night. Say it from your heart. My story must change this night. Say Lord. I know you are alive. I know you are powerful. I know you are able. To visit my life. Visit the works of my hands. Visit my health. Visit my family. And this night, I place a demand by faith that I will truly receive. Can I tell you something? If your heart is not open to receive, it's better to go home. You can do something meaningful with your time. You can go and read the Bible or do something else. But I advise you this night, don't be among the spectators. If you don't have an expectation, carefully think about it. There's no crime not having one, but get one so that you are not in confusion. The Bible said, give us this day our... It didn't say, give us this day what we need. That's too ambiguous. Give us when? Specific time, specific need. Our what? That's what he wanted, daily bread. So Lord, give me this day, this change of genotype. Give me this day a change of result. Give me this day a story. Lift my head, oh God. Let somebody know that a giant can arise from your family. There are some of you like Gideon. You are, your family is the least. And you are the least in your family. And you are busy hiding. This night the Lord is speaking to you. What are you doing on the ground, oh mighty man of valor? Do you not know who you are in Christ? Redemption offers us an opportunity to rise and reign like kings. Are you hearing me? He said, awake thou that sleepest and Christ will give you light. Awake. As that reign of glory comes. Some of you, what you need tonight is an upgrade of grace. The grace you have is there, but you have gotten to the limit of it. There are certain dimensions. Hear me, let me tell you something. See, grace is in levels. The Bible says he measured a thousand cubits. Is that true? Measured another thousand cubits. Those will open to you according to the degree of grace. Let me tell you the truth. It's not everything that is possible for everybody. Are you hearing me? I told you we are all equal in Christ, but we are not equal in grace. The prophet's servant took the rod the same rod went and laid it on the dead body. Nothing happened. Is that true? But the prophet came and did it. See, that it is not possible for you does not mean it's not possible in Christ. But tonight, Jesus himself, the Bible says, and if I be lifted up, tonight we have exalted him with all the worship. Christ is lifted up. You cannot come to his presence and those chains and shackles and they bound Samson. Some of us have been bound by limitations, by mindsets. The Bible says, but the hand of the Lord came upon Samson and that rope became like wax. Like wax. Many of you will shake out of some things this night. 
Some of you have been thrown into the den of the lion and people have forgotten about you. But can I tell you something? Your enemies will call your name and you will answer. You will say, I'm alive. I got into that dungeon, but before then, that Shekinah of God that preserves men, you will come out strong, come out wise, come out powerful, come out full of grace and tell them, I have a testimony. I know what it means to go to the valley of the shadow of death. But God, who can take a man from a dung hill, the Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Tonight, many of you will activate breakthroughs. God will connect you. Let me tell you something. Listen to me. The Holy Ghost gave me a revelation some time ago. He said, God is called the father of spirits. Have you ever known the meaning of that name? That means every spirit is subject to him. When the disciples came in Luke, in the book of Luke, they said, they came rejoicing, saying, Master, even the demons were subject to us through thy name. And Jesus said, do not just rejoice because the spirits. So he's called the father. Are you listening to me? The chief, the captain above every spirit, including the spirit of your destiny helpers. And so if the father of spirits moves, he can move any spirit. Hear me. The Bible says Nebuchadnezzar did not sleep that night. He got up by himself. He said, oh Daniel, has your God been able to save you? May my God reveal himself as the father of spirits over certain families. The father of spirits every spirit listen herbalists understand this principle they can enter their coven there's what they call summoning the spirits of people is that true while they are sleeping they summon your spirit and the spirit of the person comes to the coven they are trying to mimic god god is the lion satan roars like the lion tonight god will summon the spirits of men let me tell you the truth and compel them to bless you hallelujah he said look up to abraham your father and unto sarah that bear thee for i called him out alone i blessed him and i increased him i called him alone this night is not you and your neighbor i know you are going out together just leave that thing for a while now are you hearing me it's not the issue of me and my neighbor or me and my family members oh, oh this guy is our neighbor in new extension forget about that thing i know mother came with father bro forget about that thing i said lord i will not let you go i will not let you go i will not let you go until something in my spirit breaks open i will not let you go I will not let you go i'm provoking you to get angry tonight because what you are about to lift listen when you watch weightlifters as they lift weights before they lift it you see them shouting they are getting themselves angry well because when they are angry an ability they cannot explain comes this is what i'm doing to you when i fire your faith every unbelief that came with your situation I know you trekked from town to come here, but can I tell you something? God is able to change the story of a man. Tonight, let's see that demonic report that says you will not bear a child. Let's see that demonic report that says you have fibroid and that you will be pregnant. Let me tell you the truth. My Bible tells me God opened the womb of Leah God opened the womb of Rachel. It is God that opens a door that no devil can shut. And he can shut a door that no devil can open. Revelation 3 verse 8. He said, Behold, I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word. He said, Behold, I set before you, I set before you, Hallelujah. 
we had a very touching testimony over the week of the favor of God hallelujah someone called us and a very professional web designer from Gombe State is the one that he designs for state governments their websites and he just called us he said koinonia messages have been blessing him opening him to dimensions in the spirit he said he has been stepping into new levels in his career and he said please i want to transport myself foot my bill lodge myself and come and build a free website for the ministry and i want to train the media team on how to maintain it everything free of charge how can you explain this see listen listen i don't say this thing see let me tell you something we tell testimonies because the testimony of jesus that means a testimony that was initiated by the spirit of the christ is a spirit of prophecy meaning it has in itself the ability to compel you to desire it and see it happen in your life hallelujah the testimony of jesus the spirit of prophecy don't sit down there and say can it happen you are seeing what God, you cannot belong to a ministry that is carrying certain levels of grace and is not working in your life. Get angry this night. Get angry. He said, I and all the children that the Lord has given me, get angry. When they saw the apostle, they said he had been with Jesus. See, listen, let me tell you this night. Don't you ever, hear me, don't you, just leave him, leave him. Don't you ever, are you hearing me? Try to make Satan make you think there is no hope. That language of there is no hope is of the devil. Some of you are outside, hear my voice. Because there are many voices speaking. There are some voices telling you you will never marry. Ladies, hear me. Some are saying because you lived a past life. Look at how it is in your house. What is your business? with what has happened to mr abc the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side is that true they fell near you he said another ten thousand by your right side he said none shall harm you some of you hear me this night i'm serious about this marriage thing we are going to break this devilish yoke some of you have been laughing about it if you don't take it serious this night you will be surprised you are just saying i'm fine i'm fine don't get up and deal with it this night. The Bible says, the whole world lieth in wickedness. Don't let cartoons fool you. This world is not a playground. Are you hearing me? So when it's time to receive, make sure you receive. And the Lord is going to be restoring in this place. You lived a past life. You lost your womb. Who told you God has stopped creating? Read the book of Revelation. He said, for thou was slain. And you have received all things. He said, you have created. He said, they, they are and were created. They were created and are still being created. God did not stop creation. He only rested on the seventh day. When he rested on the seventh day, there was no need for recreation. When man spoiled things, he sent Jesus back. Let me tell you something. Remember not the former things. Are you hearing me? Tonight, don't let the devil say, even you, even you, that everybody knows you in your area to be a prostitute. So what? See, this is why when they came to the land of Jericho, because of the prophetic destiny, are you hearing me, of Rahab, he said, kill everything plus the animals so that there will be no trace to our history because she was going to be the great grandmother of Jesus. He said, destroy everything of the past. Tonight, let me tell you something. Everything, whether your mistakes, whether your carelessness of the past, the Bible says, remember not the former things. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? Let me give you a few seconds right now. I'd like you to think on the things you want God to do for you. Please, don't be mechanical about this. We are not doing jamboree this night. Think very well. 
know what you want God to do. If his husband say husband, don't say a man. If his wife say wife, if his breakthrough say Lord, my heavens are short. If his finances say finances, if it's your ministry that is dying, no growth, say oh God, measure a thousand cubits this night. Any area of your life, terminal disease, infections, lump in your breast, cancer, whatever it is, just believe God. Don't say we have been coming. I came the last time I didn't receive. Master, we have told all night, they said. He said, nevertheless, this night, I die well. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute. Exercise your spirit, man. Outside, I'm telling you, I see a cloud outside. A mighty cloud. A mighty cloud. The Lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside. God will do mighty things outside. Pray in one minute. Cry out your expectation to God. Go ahead. Forget about your neighbor. Talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, you know that you are my last hope this night. You are my last hope in this place. If you do not help me, there is no help again. If you do not save my family, if you don't change our story, then let it be that there is no God. But I have no option again. Pray that demon spirit assaulting your destiny. Pray enough is enough. That yoke of bad luck. Pray Christ has redeemed you by faith tonight. You will enter into the experience. Christ has paid the price. You don't need to pay it again. But it takes faith to enforce that which Christ has done. The price has been paid. It will not be paid this night. That ultimate price. Yes, Lord. just a song. Listen to what you are saying. Listen to what you are saying. Let it rain. Let it rain. your hands everybody inside and outside I truly hail you most high I hail you most high 
I truly have Tell you Hallelujah Hear me The power of God is present in this place mighty And God is going to be fishing out people And families Hear me Some of you Will stand in for your family Every yoke of darkness Every curse Every The power of God is already moving every curse outside i want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout jesus hear me the fire of the Holy Ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way. Especially outside. There will be mighty deliverances for you, for your family members. Every oppression, it will bow tonight because upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Lift up your hands. Thank you, Father. Take over this meeting right now, Holy Spirit. Take over this meeting. Take over this meeting. Do mighty things. I give you all the glory. At the count of three, hear me. I confront gates. I confront powers. In the name that is above all names. Out of the abundance of grace. That is sufficient in this house. At the count of three. Every devil. I speak from the realm of the spirit. And I confront altars by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You will bow at the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. That devil of darkness. Come out. Let God's people go free outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every act of witchcraft, every act of divination, every act of sorcery. Let the fire fall. I expose every power of darkness right now, right now, right now. Outside, outside, there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way. Bring them out. Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. No enchantment. No divination against Jacob shall stand surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of the lord this night they will scatter hallelujah lift up your hands again outside hallelujah hear me those of you outside, 
at the count of three i want you to shout jesus god is not done with you please pick them and bring them many of it will be a mass deliverance are you hearing me just those outside right now at the count of three one two three is the name above all names yokes are breaking spells are breaking yokes are breaking yokes are breaking It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, angels are still moving. Outside, shake it, shake it, shake it. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right at the back, right to the back. Lord, let no devil, let no devil stand your presence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. It's the baptism of fire. No devil will stand when in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just living. Living. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, you will leave them complete deliverance. No hiding. Let the word of God search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. There be no hiding place. At the count of three, under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 come out come out come out and return no more come out 
Come out. Come out and return no more. Come out. Come out. There's no hiding place. Come out. There's fire upon every devil. Fire. Shake it. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. There's no hiding place. Listen. As this is happening to you, I want you to know that this is happening in your family too. Are you hearing me? This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now, out. Hallelujah. Let me pray for this lady. See, I'm seeing horns. Horns, this is what I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Right now, I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. You're a wicked, foul devil of darkness. Just lay your hands on her head. In the name of Jesus. Now, come out, thou devil of darkness. There's no hiding for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, this curse of darkness is gone from this lady. Hallelujah. Ulcer. If you have ulcer, lift your hands. Anybody? Ulcer. Please, you're going to be healed now. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Now, we'll take some instant testimonies. Hallelujah. We'll take some instant testimonies. Because of time, we usually don't do that. But we'll just to encourage a few people. Lift your hands inside and outside. You're suffering from peptic ulcer. It will go now. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands as I rebuke that spirit. Some of you have wounds. Those wounds will close up now. Now, not later on. Just leave them. God is not done with them until he's done. Brother, look at me. You're a great man, but let me tell you, you didn't come out for yourself. You came out for your family. Where are you from? And not where you're coming from. Edo State. Edo State. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's cola knot in the middle. Are you listening to me? So God is setting you free. You believe that? Let me pray for you for your family. Out now! Those altars of darkness be gone forever. Please don't be quick to carry them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, ulcers. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers inside and outside. Be healed now. Start checking yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. Check. Check. The moment you see a notable miracle. Um... Maybe we'll have a few, I don't know, maybe at the back, one or two people. The ministers who verify them will take one or two testimonies. The Lord is showing me, who is Hanatu? Hanatu, Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now, don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu? Your name is Han you. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness. Spell and yokes of bondage. Let our family go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is not just delivering the family. God is anointing this young man. 
God will do mighty things. Take the anointing. You will become a mighty man of God. Mighty man of God. Hallelujah. Sister, this lady, come please. Quickly. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. I'm hearing the name Grace. Look at me. Who is Grace? I'm hearing the name Grace. Your friend? Your church member. We need to pray for Grace because death wants to take her life. Are you hearing me? Grace, that's, I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is helping me. But then the Lord is going to visit you in three things. See, listen to me. Number one, I, the Lord always shows me these things because I'm seeing marital issue. Are you married? No, sir. Are you married? Do you know me? Have I met with you? The Lord wants to solve that issue right now because you're looking pretty on the outside. Are you hearing me? But I'm seeing shadow. That's the only thing I'm seeing as your face in the spirit. There is no form, just shadow. But the Lord is going to set you free. Number two, who is doing a building project? Me. You are building. Did you tell me this is the second thing God is going to do? Supernatural grace to complete the building project. Are you listening to me? Number three, God is blessing you in the area of business. I'm hearing business. Who does business? Yes, I do business. Are you sure? Don't just say yes. So are you very sure? I do shoes and bags. Okay. You are going to see an escalation in your business. Three th these three things. Hold my hands. Father, that yoke of bondage. I break her free from it right now. Ah, what is this thing that I'm seeing again? Do you know what I'm seeing? I'm not seeing a woman. I'm seeing a man. See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences? This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Your son name is Beatrice. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Please, let's hurry up. Your son name is Beatrice. When you have that person, please let him come out. Hallelujah. Now, if you have problem with your ears, please, we have to be fast. Ears, whether one side, or if you came with anybody inside and outside, you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf, please put your hands there right now. Put your hands right there. Some of you feel like water in your ears. Just put your hands. Please, as you're receiving miracles, some of you, I'm not mentioning your case. Just walk out, Bishop Stan and Pastor Jakes are outside. Take the courage to walk out now. Go and drop your testimony. Hallelujah. We are going to take one or two of them. The ministers are at the back. Hallelujah. They are standing. Even if the miracle has started, they will perfect it. Look at me. Come. See. Brother, come. Where were you sitting? Outside. At the back. Hold on. What happened to you? Coming here for like very well, but I've not felt anything. So I opened up my heart. And what happened? What happened? That's the question. Body vibrating like. Huh? See, the Lord Jesus, because even now God has not finished. One of the things God is calling you. It will be a time of preparation, but God is calling you. You're going to be a great teacher of the word. Are you hearing me? He will teach the word very prophetically. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Spirit of revelation. My God, I pray. The eye is the light of the body. Let something happen to this brother. Let there be a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. I impart upon you. Just look at my eyes. You're receiving a mighty impartation. Hallelujah. 
please go outside god is visiting people i'm seeing some someone healed lump in the breast lump in the breast is getting healed right now right now the moment it is your case celebrate god check it and go out celebrate it there's nothing to be ashamed of this is this is a outside a lady is healed lump in the breast your right breast outside there's healing going on right now a lump in the breast outside a lady is being healed lump in the breast is going hallelujah now blood disease blood disease i want to pray for blood disease whether hepatitis hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now whether it is hepatitis hiv aside from genotypes we'll pray for genotypes differently hallelujah but any other blood disease please lift your hands quickly quickly please lift your hands want to rebuke that devil thank you jesus thank you jesus if you're lifting your hands lift it because the power of god will come upon you right now in the name of jesus i pray blood disease be healed be healed right now inside and outside be healed hiv virus die now in the name of jesus sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia die right now please can we get another mic hallelujah okay let's just take one hallelujah so sir um this lady had been suffering from asthma for a long time and also sorry for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact right now she's lost her voice hallelujah because god healed her wife standing outside the moment man of god said that people with ulcer god is touching them right now god touched and she was healed she began to shout and she's lost her voice hallelujah can you shout for us shout. praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord please as more miracles are happening don't just come out here to testify please now i want to pray for a woman you came you have pains it's, it's an elderly woman something i don't know if it's a growth or something please who is that please and please let's save time god is healing people right now and then i'm seeing watch this this part you're feeling sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall your bone here come out you're a lady you're a lady god is showing me the lady is holding a baby this is what i'm seeing you are holding a baby whether it's your child who is that please holding a baby oh you are holding a baby where is the baby was she holding a baby because come open the flood gates of heaven where's where's the pain this is the baby this is the baby come madam you will be healed right now look at me you, you can see her limping who can see her limping can you see her limping can you see her limping madam hold my hands you believe in the power of the holy spirit lay your hands on her which of them which of them where's the pain what happened just like that that devil will leave you right now because there is a name lord jesus thank you amen come match your legs go ahead go ahead match look at look at this look at this look at this is there any pain are you feeling any pain just a little go ahead just match in the name of jesus christ now check it walk walk and come walk and come jump look at look at this give jesus a shout of praise open the heavens let it Sing 
ministering to me. Just leave her. Five months. You are a lady here. You have not seen your period for five months. Five months. You have not seen your period. You've shared it with a few friends. Right now, this night, this night, I know there are lady ushers. They will help you. Hallelujah. All kinds of menstrual issues, it will disappear. It will disappear right now. Open the floor gates of heaven. As soon as I pray for you, take her to the restroom. You will check yourself right now. Right now, that yoke of bondage. Be free now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Please take her. Please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed. She's not the only one. There will be miracles. There are more miracles coming. Celebrate Jesus Christ. Please, can we have another mic? So that Pastor Jakes, is there another mic? Okay, it's here. Please just go to the back. Go to the back. Yes. Hallelujah. This brother's name is Dennis. 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 And while standing here, when the man of God said, she lift up her hands, and those that had ulcers, she lift up your hands. God is healing ulcer. She actually had ulcer, and it translated into asthma. Hallelujah. And while lifting up his hands, what happened? Praise the Lord. This is my first time to come here, and it leads to asthmatic. Hallelujah. As the man of God says, like, if you have as uh, if you have ulcer, and I believe he's going to, he's going to be healed. And as I lift up my hand, I'm having chest, chest pain. Hallelujah. But now I'm not feeling anything. It's just as cool as... Breathe, as breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Go Hallelujah. ahead. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. Any problem. No problem. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. My grain headache has just been healed. My grain headache has been healed now. My grain headache. Please check yourself. My grain headache, my grain headache has been healed. Make sure you just rush down to the back. My grain headache. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My grain headache has been healed. Now, please listen. There's someone you wake up in the morning. Your heart area here. Your heart area pains you. It's as if your heart is tearing. When you wake up early in the morning. This thing has been happening for a long time. Who is that person? Your heart. Just, just this way. You cannot even sleep on that side. Because when you rest on that side, you have serious problem. This is not the only one. I'm seeing a lady. You're a young lady. You're a young lady. Open the floor gate. Mama, does she understand English? Who brought her? Mama? Okay, what? Selena is a uh, official outside interpreter. Ask her what's wrong with her. Break it down, Mama. Her, her hand and her legs. Her hand, everything. This is see, the devil once is supposed to be from her head down. This is stroke. Are you seeing? This is stroke that the devil wants to bring. Tell her right now, she will. She's going to be healed and she will dance. Miracles. Look at the lady who just came. Hallelujah. You need to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While standing here worshiping God, she said she's had menstrual pain for a long, long time. Hallelujah. The pain had been there and while Apostle ministered to her, something remarkable happened. You want to hear? Hallelujah. Please. We need a lady to touch her stomach. She said because she were pains, so we need somebody to verify. Now the pains are gone. Yes. The pains are gone. Yes. Any pain? Hallelujah. Please celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Check yourself. Don't just stand waiting. Check yourself. God is doing miracles. Even if you are outside, just Bishop and Pastor Jakes are at the back. Mama, tell her. God is going to heal her right now. Ask her, does she believe? Tell her to hold my hands. The Lord Jesus sets you free. That devil, gone, pain, gone. Come up. Tell her to come up and march. It's gone. It's gone. Look at this. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Lord, gates 
Does she feel? Is this still? Is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain. Mama, let's match. Can you dance? Play any song for her. Look at, look at somebody who could not stand well. What kind of song do they sing? You, you people should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You people don't know one Alsa song. Annie, give us one Alsa song. Allah mungo de makaya, ubangi chikai kare kai zaya Come on, dance, celebrate Jesus. outside a hole in the teeth has been closed outside a hole in the teeth check yourself a hole in the teeth a hole in the teeth it has been paining you check you find out it has is gone right now right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay Okay, repaint. It's my heart. Each and every moment when I wake up in the morning, it's like it shifts and it aches really for a while now. And while this moment, while I was standing right here, when I just received her healing, I felt it just happened immediately. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Please, if you're healed, just walk right at the back. The Lord is showing me another miracle one eye the left eye of somebody outside god is really visiting people outside the left eye you don't see well with it there's you see like an image intercepting your eye is gone right now please check it what was she okay lay your hands there thank you jesus for your healing power gone check yourself See, the anointing does not just come check yourself please don't don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes no if it doesn't happen say it we'll pray for you here check yourself check yourself very well do what you couldn't do can you any pain i'm still waiting for the lady someone the, i think the did i say left or right now breast lump breast lump is gone is gone check it don't don't wait check check and go outside pastor jakes is there they are busy verifying people's cases inside or outside hallelujah praise the lord now um this is very interesting there's a family here that has been suffering delay and god is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way wait 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 listen the power of God is going to carry the person from where he is. The person will run out here with such speed. This is a sign that this is what God is doing. Hallelujah. This is what the sign that God gave me. This is very interesting. The way the Holy Spirit walks, sign and wonders here. From outside, from outside, 
the power of God will pick the person. He will run with the spirit of Elijah. It's from outside. Lord, let it happen according to your word. I give you praise and I give you glory. You will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit. It's a sign that this is what God is doing. Please, let's continue before the person comes out. You will come out, certainly. This is the word of the Lord. Now, I'm seeing a baby that is sick. You came with a baby that is sick. Please, who is the person? The baby cries in the night. Please, hurry up quickly. Because Pastor Jakes will still come up here. And Bishop Stan. Ah whatever mountain will not has not answered to it will answer to you this night who is this this is the baby that is sick what's wrong with her uh, in 2000 open the floodgates of heaven 2003 she was sick so we took her to the hospital and they transfused her after them she one more person again this same experience for one more person outside one more person outside is going to happen again one more person by the power and the influence of the spirit this is a sign and a wonder god is restoring delay in families the power of god will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed let's listen they transfuse her and after what did they say is wrong with her Doctor confirmed that she has HIV. With the transfusion of blood, she has HIV. That's what the doctor confirmed. That what? It's HIV positive. That devil is a liar. Come, my dear. Look at me. What's her name? How can a girl bear the name Favor and still have HIV? You see how demonic Satan is? The Bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation. A lady, this is like Jabez, but tonight, like the prayer of Jabez, he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Hallelujah. You will go and test her. You will come back with a testimony. We will change it. HIV is a spirit. And it will bow. Sweetheart, hold my hands. Hold my hands, both of your hands. Yeah. Just leave her. Go and test her. She's free. Another mighty miracle. Another mighty miracle. I tell you, God is doing wonders in this place tonight. Listen. Hallelujah. Apostles, this is amazing. Listen. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the word of knowledge you gave about a woman, a lady outside with the, with the lump. Lump. The lady with the lump. Listen. How, okay, how long has it been? help us mm, for like two years. how long two years right now it's gone yes. Yes. hallelujah lift your hands look at me lift your hands lord let your power come upon her you will perfect this right now that which you have started let it be perfected in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah amazing amazing i'm telling you god is doing amazing things so if your miracle has started bishop is praying jakes they are praying we're very serious don't go back don't go back a wrist has just been healed you feel a pain in fact there used to be like a growth check it it has disappeared check it right now it has disappeared check it it has disappeared check it god is doing mighty miracles check it it has disappeared hallelujah now i'm seeing a woman there are objects that move in your body serious objects it moves sometimes to your legs sometimes to your chest hallelujah 
right now as I pray you are going to be free and you find out that you are free you are feeling light please when that happens to you go down the ministers are seriously praying there father in the name of Jesus this demonic thing this demonic thing this demonic yoke of darkness let it leave your body right now right now right now right now come my sister what's your name grace grace when i was speaking to a lady here and i said grace i was my eyes was being fixed are you married we are going to visit marriage issues now just get ready we are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil are you hearing me marriage is a good thing say it again say it one more time every good and perfect gift where does it come from where does it come from that means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where i tell you the truth god is going to visit marriages right now look at me men don't come to you anybody that comes they just mock you they run away they do all of these things some even insult you can i tell you something you are wonderfully and fearfully made i hope you know that god does mighty marriage miracles in this place so when we are talking about marriage look at another miracles are happening like i tell you there is an open heavens and this is what happens once there is praise please make sure the, the mic is set let's take this testimony yes sir come sister hallelujah apostle when you gave a word for the woman you said somebody's something was moving in movement her. in her body yes, exactly She's this person. is the person movement she had an accident some days ago and since then she's been having funny movement movement in, in your body even standing here in the meeting she was still having that any movement right, right now in your body lay your hands on your on your stomach no not on your stomach not your legs thank you jesus christ Amen, You're free, completely free. Give Jesus a big sister. I'm going to put, look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Yes, sir. Eh? Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm seeing? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know me? Did we discuss this? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing Chuck. Chuck, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? Okay, you promise me they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? Ah, wait. Come, come, come. This one is oppression. No, this one is not just. Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go. Thou devil of darkness. Release her right now. With a mighty shout. Go. Go. If there is a woman here you've suffered barrenness or a man anything that you have not given but come out here quickly please quickly quickly bishop is still coming and jakes we have to hurry up there's a bit that will happen here please come out quickly you you must be married though except if you are standing for somebody Don't be emotional about it, please, please. Be looking at your neighbor. If you are from the same place, go back. Somebody has come to represent another person. We will have miracle children in this place. Look at, look how many people, the devil is stopping them from enjoying. I mean, some of them are standing in for their loved ones. Look at, look at this, look at this. It looks like they are coming out to give offering. But this is, this is, lack of, lack of, 
children. You see the relevance of meetings like this? Listen to me. Who is standing for herself or for himself? For yourself. For yourself, come here, please. Quickly. Those who are standing for others, just wait. For yourself. Look at me. Are you together? She's your wife? Oh, both of you are standing for yourself. Where's your husband? He traveled. I'm seeing a baby girl. Go and write it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. See, let me tell you. Sister, look at me. He will come back here with your baby girl and testify. You believe that? Lord, confirm your word with power right now. Thank you, Jesus. You are set free. Ah, you're on his marriage. Why didn't you wait? The guy just said, okay. No, 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 no. Don't see, don't laugh. It doesn't mean you should do it anyway, but don't laugh. He's coming out. Look at me. You believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage here? Yeah? When when are you when is the wedding? Eh? Hold my hands. According to the time of life, I speak to you under the unction of the spirit. Before the end of this month, you will be in a very godly, serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God. Father of spirits, connect them. You are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Wow, mighty miracles again are happening. You too, you for yourself, lay your hands on your stomach. Because I'm seeing something else. What did the doctor say? Whatever that means. Well, we shall know this is not from God, whatever it is. PID, PID, we'll pray, whatever it is. And see, look at me. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. At least the men don't understand, some of them, but the ladies, you understand what she said, Abi? Do you understand or not? We are going to pray. Look at me. It will go and you will give birth to a lot of children. What will stop you is discipline, not lack of. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish your husband were here oh, because he's not only you I'm supposed to pray for. Where is he? Just pray for him. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. Father, perfect her. The power of God is coming upon you, and that devilish thing is leaving you right now. Return with testimonies. Return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's hear Pastor Jates. Hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two this of her teeth. Two of her teeth. Had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at. Sorry. I, this is bad. Viewers discretion. I'm sorry, don't feel bad. We are disciplined people. But just so that we we'll celebrate God, check, no hole. Look at this. No hole. I can't see any hole here. There was, your teeth was removed. Two teeth. Two teeth was removed. Who knows her? Who knows her? Is it true that the teeth was removed? Who is that? Yes. Yes. It's, it's true. You are sure of that? Dorcas. Her name is Dorcas. Look at, and the teeth has been filled supernaturally give jesus a big Hallelujah. big hand big hand big hand of praise hallelujah now all of you that are standing for any see if you are standing for anybody when you go back send the person a text and say i just stood in for you now believe and receive are you hearing me send them a text don't let them roam around you are here suffering to stand in for them they are not connecting again hallelujah and because you are standing here it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness i hope you know that the bible says and when job prayed for his friends god turned his own captivity job 42 verse 10 and 11. let me pray for you lift your hands look at as many people lift your hands 
some of you the power of God will come upon you on behalf of the people there my God children the Bible says are a heritage from the Lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidences that Jesus is alive right now I pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of Jesus be lifted now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. Every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness. If they don't have womb, we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Return back rejoicing. Send them a text that they have been prayed for. And let me tell you, see, listen, hold on, hold on. There are some who take in but lose the child. Is that true? Lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in. They take in one month, two months, they just wake up. In the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it i pray no more miscarriage in the name of jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please go back rejoicing god bless you Pastor Jakes, Bishop Stan, please come. Please come. They'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes. Hallelujah. I know that there are areas that they'll minister to you. While that is happening, pass the prayer request, please. This is a time for God to visit your case. Please, as you are passing it, be praying in tongues. As you are passing it, be praying in tongues. Say, Lord, this is it. My time has come. If they didn't call you, your prayer point will call your case now. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Pastor Jake, so just minister by the grace of God and then Bishop Stan, sir. Please write your prayer request quickly. Open the flood gates of trusting the Lord for and Lord communicates to me for some of you especially God will touch you hmm. God's going to be touching some of you especially what you desire from him specifically so some of you God is going to be activating some anointing upon your life an unusual kind of anointing hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head. There are people, the Lord will be pouring it upon your head. Parido, fine dan gros tiki van tahi, lingro supra tika tarebo ste, randa kai. 
One of you, the anointing will be so heavy on your leg. Heavy, heavy. They will literally have to carry you out of this place. <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place. Blessing, blessing. God is blessing some people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessings, God is blessing you. Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. that person it's a is your pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having unusual stomach pains your pancreas i think pancreas should be in stomach right pancreas 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 that's why here pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having that problem right now i pray for you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i release healing let healing come to your body in the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord is going to be touching. You'll feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You'll feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us and I don't know there might be more than one um, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream and when you are done eating that food you become heavy I don't mean physically spiritually let me clear this it's possible for God to do an impactation for you it's possible for God to do an impartation for you in the dream by giving you food, angel's bread. It's a spiritual one. But this one I'm talking about, the devil ministers it to you in the dream. And when you are done eating it, you wake up and feel less spiritual. You feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit. If you are the one, I would like to pray with you. She's one of them. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. Go! In the name of Jesus. Go! Thank you, Father. I thank you in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I declare freedom. Freedom in the name of Jesus. You are free. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. He will minister to you. Who dropped this picture? 
What happened to the baby? It's dead. The baby was born crippled. That devil is a liar. What did they say? No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we'll be done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember, we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You are a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. And now as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around, hopping around from man to man. One army officer to another one. One banker to another one. And then say, I don't have a husband. No, no. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. We are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So as you are lifting up your hands, make sure that you are making a commitment. No sex before marriage. Don't let anybody deceive you. I'm saying it straight to the point. Hallelujah. No sex before marriage. No caressing. No, all this nonsense that people do. No. Don't, don't open up yourself for demons. You tie your soul with demonic things. Be sure that you are going to keep many Christian relationships are not pure. Because a lot of people think everybody is doing it. No, not everybody is doing it. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand upon his own? So, sister, just get it straight. Don't say yes to any brother who plans to just if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait whatever is pursuing him let him carry it out of your life hallelujah i need to say this before i pray for you god is not a magician are you listening to me this is not a herbal center this is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles hallelujah so make sure as you are standing here to receive you are serious with god and you've been involved in all these things I'm talking about. Stop it this night. Stop it this night. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Father, you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness. And Father, this night I pray for your people inside and outside and our online community i declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus. And I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke, because there are some of you, it's not just you, all the ladies in your house, some you notice that you marry almost at age 40. No matter what you do, no matter how decent you are, you will never just get a faithful man. Some of you is married men that keep chasing you. As young as you are, you can't get a godly brother. You are coming to church. You are serving in church. The brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker. And then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age. 
who will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repatote telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to be, this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues Rakatata paka prokoto baladaba. Se chala brakata satalibe. Le kalumis e brakata satalaba. Se brakati kotoshi ina satala brakata shi. E kaka satala brakati shi. Se brevi na kalazumi na katashia. Rapata shadole brakati kalabalush taba. Ke se brevi kada kada bakata satalaba. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Jehovah. Father of all spirits, the great I am, Mayeda Subitro Les in Amakata Sata, Lisa Pata Shekabara, the one that divided the Red Sea, Lika Ziprata Shetebara, the one that released manna, Paul released manna from heaven, Choba, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, I pray for miracles, miracles, miracles upon this prayer request. Miracles, visitations, miracles, visitation, far above, far above what they have written, far above, far above, connection, completion, perfections, in the name of Jesus, completions, perfections, in the name of Jesus, miracles, miracles visitation divine visitation jehovah jehovah miracle worker upon this request breathe upon it breathe upon it breathe upon it let there be miracles let your people testify in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you lord bless your name jehovah in Jesus' name we pray. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are a prosperous ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are a prosperous ministry. Mysteriously prosperous. By the hand of God. I believe in prosperity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty. You cannot help the poor by being one of them. Are you hearing me? And I want to pray for you. Please believe. Lift your hands. See, listen. The irrefutable laws 
of prosperity remains tithing, kingdom investments, and your givings. They open the heaven and position you. And then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas, favor, wisdom, the blessings of God upon your hands, strength and long life. Hallelujah. I want to encourage everybody. Please bring out a seed. I can't pray for you for prosperity just like that. Please. Please. This, if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing, just keep your seed. Please. This is not some. I won't help you. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not going to help you. It's not just about saying receive. No. Please. God has blessed you. You can help somebody by your side. Please. Bring out something that will cost you. Some of you are greedy and stingy. See, let me tell you something. I pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life. Many of you think God is out to rob. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. The secret of prosperity is giving. It will never change. There are many of you God has been speaking to you. You won't listen. I can't tell you how many times God has instructed me to empty my accounts. If you see, if your heart is still on prosperity, God will never give you. He said, my son, give me your heart. Until you conquer greed, you are not entitled to handle true riches. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please bring out a seed. Some of you will bring out something that will cost you. Let me tell you, don't pity yourself. Don't pity yourself at all. Don't make foolish, impulsive decisions. Are you hearing me? We are not manipulating people. Don't make stupid decisions that you come outside. And, no, no. Make some of you, God is speaking to you right now. Some of you need to stand for your families. Honestly, honestly. See, if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed, it means we are fake. Something is wrong. Are you hearing me? I tell you, this, this prosperity oil, there is an oil. It will come upon some of you in a fearful way. Please, inside and outside, I beg you, if you don't have a seed, can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed? Please, connect. Allow the person to hold your hands. Don't feel bad. Please stand up, everybody. This is a very serious thing. Lift your hands and lift your seed. Hear me? Solomon, there was a sacrifice upon the altar. And Solomon said, oh God, oh God, attend unto your people. Whenever they call you, that you will respond. And the Bible says the glory, the Shekinah of God came and filled that room. I'm praying, I'm praying. See, I tell you, it, it, it pains my heart. It pains. We want you to, the full gospel. You must represent the kingdom in its entirety. We don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money. No. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please lift. Some of you, what will come upon you is the giving grace. Because honestly, for some of you, is greed. Greed. Even to yourself. Lift it up. I want to pray. Oh, God has given us this anointing. And I want to pray. My God, it will happen. It's going to come on like fire. It will fall on many of you. Please help me. My God, I pray. The oil of prosperity. The power to get wealth. At the count of three. My God, let it fall mightily. Right now. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, shake it, take it, take it, take it. I activate it outside. I activate it. Let fire come upon your seed. I give your seed a voice in the spirit. It took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty. We use this sacrifice. To bring them out of poverty. It took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty. 
we take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing. Psalm 66 verse 12 He said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through waters and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. My God you know we are not fake. We are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people. I pray my God I give your seed a voice and I instruct it go around the earth gather your kind and return back to the owner I prophesy under this apostolic unction I speak to your seed go around the earth gather your kind go around the earth gather your kind go around the earth gather your kind and return a hundredfold hallelujah please cast your seeds with joy quickly help me please bring the offering basket hallelujah now i want to pray finally before the altar call breakthroughs there are families that need major breakthroughs are you hearing me there are some of you your the way from the day they gave birth to you you have never celebrated entering a house that God gave your own family. Embarrassment after embarrassment. Every time they start a building project, rain will wash it or something satanic will happen. Breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away. Lift your hands. The Bible says, thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left thou shalt break forth please receive it some of you need to call your loved ones and say look a prayer was prayed there are some houses that have been built 10 years 10 years is a cost it's a cost i'm telling you there are some people they are they are lecturers but they are still begging for money to feed this is this is the yoke of bondage there are families that live from hand to mouth. Some of you, as you are looking at me now, you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family, as young as you are. It ought not to be so. The Bible says, a good man liveth an inheritance, not taken from his children's children. Lift your hands, please. Where is the God that brings breakthrough? Where is that God that changed the story of Samaria? by the mouth of the prophet where is that God that instructed the prophet to say by this time my God and my king I pray for koinonia in the name of Jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of Moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to Abuja. We send it to Zaria. We send it to Kogi State. We send it to Lagos. We send it to Kaduna. Like the angel of death visited his home. This night, this night, this night, I speak. This night, let this anointing go to families and create the Garden of Eden. Let it create the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors? How many of you have noticed it? Have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens? How many of you know it's not normal? See, the Bible says they know not. You do not know what is happening. This night, this night, the angel of the Lord will move across ABU. Are you hearing me? altars of darkness will be destroyed see this is why god put centers like this to legislate on behalf of territories the apostolic grace is not for making mouth it's for taking charge it's a rule thou in the midst of your enemies the church is the light of the world the church cannot be here 
and things are happening if your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer i want you to lift your hands we want to prophesy that oil of exemption hallelujah it's terrible people are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next i pray for you see when the angel of death hear me when the angel of death came to goshen and egypt the angel of death killed everybody it's just that when he came he found out that some houses were already killed when he saw blood on their house he said these people are already died and he passed by i pray that blood of sprinkling that blood he said when i see the blood rapato coparatata not by accident not by terrorism in the name of the lord jesus i command supernatural preservation receive it now supernatural preservation receive it now every lecturer in apu and in all the institutions in this town because i already see the arrows of death on some lecturers the lord is ministering to me and i'm seeing that between now and december 4 i see four other professors going but we stop it we change it in the name of jesus we stop it we change it we stop it we change it we stop it he said the heaven of heavens the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord but the earth has he given now let me pray for you 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 have no covenant with death we are entering the ember months now hallelujah please see take seriously the things that happen here are you hearing me liver is the power of god that is bringing her up stage it's a sign and a wonder just cover her hallelujah please we're out of time i want to pray for you lift your hands see listen hear me those inside and outside never believe hear me please now and i don't want you to feel bad i know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones we've stood by you but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for satan and say he can ride into your family anytime are you hearing what i'm saying every time death is ravaging people god will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry i want to pray for you ember month is the time when people look at how many people just graduate from abu going back they die don't tell me that's the will of god some of you as they are giving your parents work that's it if there is a shrine there is a greater shrine see this is the speaking of altars every altar speak the Bible tells us that the blood of jesus speak get better things i want to speak on behalf of people lift your hands please because many of us travel there are some of us who are in business you travel to lagos you travel to kotono some of you are moving around some of you are coming from different places my duguri joss bauchi come out of her now out out of her now a very violent spirit lift your hands say after me father in the name of jesus i declare that i am protected hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words 
Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.